2 Sports, powered by Ford. After a successful rehab in the minors, that included a stop right here in Dayton, Homer Bailey returned to the Reds' rotation this afternoon to make his 2017 debut. The 31-year-old right-hander has made a total of eight starts over the last two seasons. Bailey and the Reds in Washington, D.C. taking on the Nats today. Bottom of the first, Nats get a single and a walk to start things off. Now, one out later, Ryan Zimmerman sends a shot right into center field, right down that alley. That's going to bring home two early runs. Bottom of the second, Nats up three to nothing. Bases loaded for Daniel Murphy. He is going to drill this one in down the right field corner. All three runs are going to come home five nothing Nationals. Still in the second, Anthony Rondon coming up here. Rockets this ball down the left field line to score yet another run. It's a rough one for Bailey. His return to the majors, not the prettiest picture as we go over to the scoreboard now. Box score again, not too pretty. The Nats taking a 2-0 series lead over the Reds. 18 runs scored by Washington, eight of those given up by Homer Bailey in his season debut, only lasting a little bit more than an inning. The Reds continue to struggle uh, only with one win in their last 10 games as the Nats go on to improve 45-29 on the season. Now the single-A version of the Ohio Cup Series continued tonight. The Dragons affiliate of the Reds hosting the Lake County Captains, the affiliate of the Cleveland Indians. Six the Dragons looking out, to take back the series tie today the and Dragons. get above 500 to start the second half of the season. Let's start off with the Dragons trailing by four in the bottom of the seventh, but not for long as Jose Siri continues his hot streak with a big two-run home run with two outs, series eighth of the season. Dragons feeling a little bit of a late push now. Michael Beltre with the hard ground ball along the baseline, rolling all the way to the wall. Beltre passes second, and he is gassing it, folks. He is going to slide in there with the triple. Dragons looking to keep that pressure up with runners on first and third with two outs. Tyler Stevenson uh, powers this one, but it will not be enough. Let's we will, uh, the Dragons end up win, or losing this game. Despite some late heat, the Heater and the Dragons unable to get over the hump, losing 6-2 to two the final. Dragons' next game uh, will be tomorrow uh, for Game 4 of the series at 2 p.m. on Sunday. Moving over to Cleveland now with the Minnesota Twins in town, trying to make a move on the division-leading Indians. We start off in the top of the first catcher, Jan Gomez, with a quick throw to third. And that ball gets away from Jose Ramirez. Uh, Joe Maurer comes home to give the Twins now a 2-0 lead. Ramirez kind of feeling bad about losing the ball, so he decides to hammer this pitch to deep right field for the solo home run. Twins still lead 2-1. Two to one. Now jumping to the bottom of the ninth, now Indians down with a runner on second and two outs. Jason Kipnis gets solid contact, but check out the dive by Byron Buxton to end the game. That's how it's done, folks. Let's check out the scoreboard. The Indians had a chance there at the end, but that diving play ends the game and gives the twin the series with one more game Sunday at 1 o'clock. Now to the track where Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series makes its annual summer stop in Sonoma. The California kid Kyle Larson had his Chevy dialed in for the qualifying today and shot up the top of the chart with a speed of 95.295 miles. Woo! He takes the pole by seven one thousandths of a second from his teammate Jamie McMurray. It's the second straight pole for Larson. The green flag on the Save Mart 250 drops Sunday afternoon a little bit after 2.30 p.m. And the last time the Dayton Flyers had anyone drafted to the NBA, it was Nigel Knight back in 1990, the second round to the Phoenix Suns. Now, that streak continued with no UD players drafted this year. However, Scoochie Smith and Charles Koch each found a home. Scoochie signed with the Boston Celtics as a free agent, and Koch signed, or Cook signed with the Minnesota Timberwolves. Scoochie earned first-team Atlantic 10 honors, while both players part of the winningest senior class in Dayton Flyers history. Still got a little bit of a road ahead of them. Got to make the team, go through the summer league. But, hey, we're all rooting for you. Congratulations to you guys out there.